what we're doing here is we're supplying access to enable Balfour Beatty and Mansells to re-roof and refurbish the framework of the roof uh, to Earls Court Station here, um, which is a very busy station and uh, the access is a key part of the project. We had to keep the station fully operational when we were doing the, all the modernisation work. Um, to do that, we got SGB to design and build a protection deck above the platform areas and the ticket hall. Working on a live railway station, we've got very restricted access from the street to get into the station with some fairly large pieces of kit. Uh, we were helped by the fact that we used trains and track-mounted cranes to get some of the materials in. That helped a great deal. We brought SGB in because we have had experience of working with SGB before. Also, they've got a good proven track record, especially working and their experience in working on the underground, which is vital to what we needed. They have a tremendous safety record. They're professional at what they do, and they've got what I like about them is they've got this real sort of can-do attitude to getting the job done. We've used a variety of products to construct the working deck, which included cup lock towers, Mark II soldier towers on the platforms. Uh, we've used our cover span 750 beams to form the support for the deck, and then a cup lock birdcage on top of that to give access into the roof space. Our biggest challenge was uh, getting our material in and out. You can see yourself, it's an open station, passengers and people in and out. So all our material had to come in during nights. Uh, we spent over a year planning it, designing it, working out how we were going to give them access to do the roof. Uh, that included working out what we were going to do on the platforms, what structures we were going to build and what loadings we could apply to the platforms. And that really benefited us a great deal because it meant that uh, we, when we started work on site over a year after that date, uh, we were absolutely ready to go. There were a number of environmental issues that we had to look after, the dust and noise was very strictly monitored and controlled. We were very careful to involve the Kensington and Chelsea environmental officers and we also made sure that we um, advised the local residents of any particularly noisy activities. We successfully managed to do the bulk of the work with um, no, no complaints. I think the project was largely seen as a success. I think due to the careful planning and careful involvement of stakeholder management and uh, making sure that all the key people that needed to be involved were involved throughout. Various other departments with the Metronet and Tube lines which all had to be brought together, working together, um, to get this delivered on time and to budget. I'm very pleased actually, we've had a great site and it's impressive to see it all come back into place and being reinstated with uh, all the new lighting levels and yeah, so I'm really pleased that it's worked well. It's fantastic. If you're down here during the day, you can really see the changes in the light uh, from what it used to be to what it is now. I would sum us be up to say they're a professional bunch. We'd have pleasure in working with them again uh, on any future projects that we uh, were involved in. It's been a very successful relationship with Balfour Beatty throughout the project. This was clearly helped uh, from the planning stage because there was a lot of early planning involved. That's helped the relationship, it's helped build relationships through the project with Balfour BTO, which has led to the success of the project. Yeah.